today we will be seeing the new topic in our this video okay and the name of our topic is time so we all see time in our day to day life right right from the morning when we get up till night when we sleep we all go along with the time space right morning you get up at 6:30 7 o'clock to go for your school then you see the time to drink your milk you see the time to have your bath and get ready for school then even in school you will be having all your schedules all your time tables based on the time when you come back home at 3:30 4 o'clock again you see the time then you relax you have your snacks you go to play you come back you study and then you follow the time schedule to go back to sleep right so what do you see in a time children it is a basically a clock right and it helps us to be punctual in all our work right so right from seeing get up getting up in the morning till going back to sleep we see our time schedule and then we plan all our activities so what time do you get up in the morning children assume that you get up at 6 o'clock yes so here i am just writing down your schedule so i wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning so i write it as am right then i have my breakfast at 7 o'clock okay that is i drink my milk i have some snacks right and then i get ready for school by 7:30 am i reach school at say 8:15 am okay then i have my break at say 9:30 am then i have my lunch at 12:30 pm now why do i call pm children you know that once the entire cycle completes 12 it changes to pm right so now i come back from school say at 4 pm i go to play at 5 pm i do my study at 6:30 pm i have my dinner at 8:30 pm and i go to sleep at 9:30 pm so this is my entire schedule which i follow on on a daily basis right so now from 1 o'clock midnight sorry from 12 midnight to 12 noon it is called as am okay and from 12 noon to 12 midnight it is called pm so it is anti meridian it is post meridian okay so from 12 noon till 12 o'clock midnight we call it as pm and from midnight till the noon 12 o'clock we call it as am so that's why if you see in this chart of my schedule from waking up till my break it is am so post lunch till my sleep it goes in pm okay so now in a clock basically three we see three needles right so first one the longest one the longest needle is called as my seconds the smallest one is my hour and the middle one is my minutes 
ok. So, here this is my seconds needle, I am sorry this is my hour needle. this is my hour needle, this is my minutes needle and suppose if you say a bigger needle is here ok and this is my seconds needle ok. So, now we have a small calculation here that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Ok, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes ok, which you can say is again equal to 60 into 60. So, how much 60 is into 60 children? So, 0 we will put the value as it is and 6 into 6 is 36. So, which is equal to 3600 seconds. Ok, 1 day is equal to 24 hours, 1 week is equal to 7 days, 4 weeks is equal to 1 month. This is approx we can say it is an approx value. Sometimes it may be 4, sometimes it may be 5. Ok. So, now and also we have as 1 month is equal to 30 days or 31 so, these are the basic things which we have, which we would have learnt in our smaller classes, right? Like 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes, 1 day comprises of 12, 24 hours, 1 week is 7 days, 4 or 5 weeks is 1 month, 1 month has 30 or 31 days. Only 1 month has got 28 days which is your February. So, February has got 28 or 29 days, right? And then you have 1 year is equal to 365 days and your leap year has 366 days, okay? So, these are the basic information which we would have already studied in our younger classes and for this chapter also we are going to follow these calculations in order to solve our problems. So, keeping these facts in mind, are you all ready to start up with our new chapter solving the new sums? Ready children? Yes. 